Hello and thank you for joining us in our podcast called The Growth Journey. This is the place where you will start your personal growth and development. I'm glad you're here. I am your host, Cheryl Hart. So here in the U.S., it is now the summer season. It is a busy season to many of us. And first, kids are back home for the summer. Um, It is a time where we go on vacations that we've been planning for months or even a few years. It is a time to spend more time with family and friends. And lots of barbecuing, hiking in the forest, going in the the lake. Um, Lots of music festivals to go to. And most of all, a time to go on the beach. Either you you live by the beach, which is lucky you if you are living by the beach, or you fly out to go on the beach. So there are some people who likes hiking, who prefer to be at the mountains or or the farm or the forest, the cities, the river, and some love being by the beach, by the oceans. These are some of the commons that our people are doing. Um, this is one of the reasons why it is great about living, right? We have so many choices, so many options, and preference on how we would like to spend our time, especially about after work hours, how we would like to spend our days and time to wind down and just relax. And choosing where we wanted to go on vacations. And no matter where you are today, I'm sure that some point of your days today, you are thinking about you wish you were somewhere else. And perhaps at the beach or at the mountain or going out fishing just to get away from the norm and just relax. So this week I am in uh, Miami, uh, Florida. And this week um, I'm attending a trade show event on medical devices. Uh, This is my first time here in Miami. I I have heard so many great things about the city. And I wish I had more time to explore a bit more, but so far it has been great. So I thought I would create something to make this a memorable experience for you and I. So I decided to create an episode specifically on this. I just finished my work uh, with my colleagues at the trade shows. It was really great and we have met customers, both existing and new customers. I have been doing trade shows for, uh, say, uh, a year now and this is my third time doing trade shows. And they're all different, uh, but I think that for all the trade shows I've been to, that I have been attended, here in Miami is the most memorable to me and the most fun for me. And I will tell you why. So the first three nights I stayed in downtown Miami. Oh my God, (laughs) what a fun city this is. And they are right. They have great Cuban food, great Cuban restaurants, fun people to hang out with. Um, and not to mention the clubs and bars. There are so much here, so many things to do with so little time. And so now I am in a South Beach area with my friends and family who have flown to meet me here and decided to do our girls trip to our mini weekend getaway. Uh, we are staying on this great hotels here in South Beach and we picked the one with a beachfront so that we don't have to drive around. Uh, we just want to relax while we're staying here. So uh, we look at the beachfront access so we don't have to drive around. And if you are looking for a beachfront resort who has everything you need, easy access to everything, fun places, great restaurants, walking distance and the ambience was great. Uh, check out the Confidenti Hotel here in Miami Beach. So go to either hotel.com um, and Google it and check out the prices, some great deals. So you might want to keep on the lookout on that. So again, the, the resort or the hotel that we're staying at is Confidente uh, Hotel. And you will like it. You will like it. I assure you that. And it's a great for kids too. So if you're planning to bring your kids um yeah they have places for them they have a pool for the kids and they have pool for adults so everybody for everything right so yeah to bring them with you so it's so much fun for you guys Uh, this is something um, many things i can tell you but you i can see them you know you can see them in the review um you know check out the confidential website itself but check out the review as well the trip advisory which is i always go to every time i do traveling so that's what i do all the time i travel for my work and that's what i go to so feel free to check it out so i was thinking about recording this outside um so you know so you can hear the breeze and the sound of the ocean um, however it is still dark 
and I am by myself right now and my family already left to catch the flight, the early flight going home. So I am by myself and I was like, huh, maybe I should go ahead and record it while I'm here, still here in the resort and I'm trying to do the best I can as humanly possible <laughs> so I can tell you what I have learned on this trip. So you too can relate or perhaps you will think about this trip and apply it to yours. And um, so just keep in mind, I just woke up. Um, I'm trying to be upbeat. Um, I probably woke up 30 minutes ago. <laughs> so hopefully my voice is okay. Um, and yeah, and I'm good to go. So here are, I wanted to share with you um, as far as my uh, lessons learned here in my trip. So here it goes. So in the 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth series episode that I created via premium episodes, so for you that this is the first time that you have been hearing it, uh, but uh, I, we, are, uh, we created a premium episodes where I stored all the deeper dive lessons of the 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth and many more that we are offering in which I highly recommend it for you if you really wanted to invest into yourself and your personal growth and development. You can do sign up right now. It's available in my website at my Padbean website, either bi-weekly or monthly or yearly premium subscription. So all the subscribers that I have, they can have only access to that uh, series of episodes uh, where I go into deeper dive teaching uh, with a lot of teaching that I'm going to put it in there, I pour into there. Uh, one of the teaching lessons is about the law of reflections, which is part of the 15 valuable laws of growth. So this one, I'm going to kind of relate it in a little bit um, in this trip, in this specific trip. So the law of reflections that says learning to pause allows growth to catch up on you. So our reflection for the day is about that, to pause and reflect. I do this all the time, every day, and especially now. I am here in Miami with all of the things that I have experienced here. I'm trying to take a pause and see what I'm learning. What, I, what I've learned, what did I apply, and who did I help. So in good pause and reflection on what I have learned and observing things, it gave me that a sense of um, a learning experience for me. I don't know if you, you, um, me, you, if you recall my previous episode that experience is the best, um, um, experience is the best teaching moment. However, evaluated experience is the best tool or teaching moment for you okay so we evaluate that through ref reflections so our reflections for the day is about that to pause and reflect I do this all the time so this also reminds me of what Peter Drucker a uh, quote that says follow effective action with quiet reflection from the quiet reflection will come even more effective action so if you are at the beach or given the chance being at the beach what would you bring? What would be your first choice to bring with you? And for me, I will bring my favorite book because I love to read. Um, even my Kindle. I think right now I'm, you know, uh, since I travel, I, I light, I pack light. So I just bring in my Kindle and read it to my Kindle. But I preferred, um, you know, the books with the flip the pages but you know if you're traveling you want to minimize all this carry with you so I, uh, I choose to be in a Kindle so things like that so I bring my book um, everything some people likes to pick up uh, seashells right so one of my uh, cousins she just pick out a lot of seashells and to bring home with her child so just a great uh, things to to uh, memories you know to to bring with when you are back home and also bring a, a nice cold beverages to drink, you know, and also a nice cold water to stay dehydrated. At this month in summer season, it's very hot and humid, especially here in Miami. It's very humid. Uh, Self-care is always important, right? So bring sunscreen as always and bottle water. I was thinking the other day what people drone so much, so much and like being at the beach. So this is what I have found and perhaps you can add more into this list. But this is something that I observe. So the, there's a five reasons why people love being at the beach. So you might want to write it down. So there's five reasons why people love being at the beach. So number one is because the stunning views, right? I think 
this is the one one of the reasons why people are drawn to being on the beach because of they see the stunning views that they haven't seen before maybe this is the first time being in the ocean or even though they've seen it so many times it's just something about it the view of it when you see it it's just oh my god it's so so much fun it's just so relaxing it's taking you take a break away from you you know so you see pictures online i'm sure in the magazine or even your friends and family are posting these pictures online with the stunning views you know which is what we normally do you know uh, it's the normal people now <laughs> take pictures and post in social media you know and uh, it was really look stunning you know and looking at those great pictures especially when you have a rough day at work or in life or in general that is something that you wish you escape from, you know, or take a break and being at the beach instead, instead of dealing with the situations or what you got going on at work or your personal life. So you go back in that and it's like, man, I wish I was there. I wish in this, in this incredible beach and sand uh, in my feet, you know, so you're thinking about that. So that's number one, the stunning views that we drawn people while we love in the beach. So the second one is being in the moment so this is my favorite part like i said it's a reflection so part of that reflections or reflecting what you have learned for the day is being in the moment so there's something about being here that is actually makes you being in the moment especially if you are with your family and friends to some they like to do nothing you know so when you ask someone some people it's like so what would you like to do in a beach oh nothing I just want to lay there. I'm just going to, you know, lay down in the sun, um, get my sunscreen, and soak it up, all the sun. That's all I want to do. I work hard. I work so many hours. Now, I just don't want to do anything. <laughs> We're just perfectly fine. You know, that's what we wanted to do. Just lay in, laying down in there and do nothing, right? And giving yourself a break or taking a pause. You just want to be in the moment and soaking all in. It is not like you are not doing anything or you're doing something, but you are doing something in a different way. So it's on your own way, right? So doing nothing is perfectly fine. If you want to do stuff, then you do stuff, right? So we are free here to choose what we wanted to do. The good thing about it here is you have options. So what are your options? And I do like options. If you have uh, options not to do anything, perfect. That's for you. If you want to do something, being active, yes. There you go. Perfect for you. Which is, bring it down to number three, which is the sports. Water sports, activities, and beach parties. This is what drawn people so much in the beach too. It looks fun. You know, when you see people out there jet skiing in the sports and playing volleyball in the sand and they have a lot of parties going on so people draw into it say oh this is so much fun you know so people go in there and do do those things so if you do decide to do something there are plenty of water sports activities that you can do that only available at the beach uh, you know offered by the uh, the resort itself so as for me, I love parasailing. So I love seeing everything, the surroundings around the area. That's so much fun to look at. And I am sure you can add more into the sports that you do, you know, at the beach. Perhaps dig out the sand and build a sand castle and then start singing you're building a castle. <laughs> so that's one of, one of the best thing about it too, you know, that you just creating your own Sometimes it's not in the options. Maybe you're just creating your own what you wanted to do. And the fourth one is the calming effect. So this is what the reasons why people love being the beach because of the calming effect. So there's something about walking on the sand barefoot, right? And watching the waves, listening to the sounds of the waves has an extremely calming effect for anyone. When my family and I... Uh, went to the cruise in the Caribbean. That's my favorite spot. Um, we've been going to Caribbean for many times now. And we love cruises. 
It was our fourth time and going on fifth time now. So we normally take on a cruise via Disney. Disney Cruise and working on to get our gold status members. That's why we stick around because of this um, statuses that you can get depending on how many cruises you've been to. So we're working on that. But anyway, I recorded the sound of the waves while we are there. Um, the waves of the, oce the, the oceans. Um, it then serves me of my background noise when I go to sleep. So looking over the waves, I seldom forget everything and just savoring every moment of it. Another amazing sight to see is when looking at the amazing sunset or the sunrise at the beach, just watching the sun go down over the sea is simply breathtaking. It truly reminds me of what a great world this is that we are currently living in and what a great life to live. There's so many places to see, so many experiences, all of these things that surrounded us and how we are unique compared to other sites in the universe. Also, the sunset um, remind me of what today matter truly means, in which when that sound go down, everything that happened that day is already in the past. So the night then follow, then you will see the sun rises again in the morning, in which another great opportunity is within us, which also means for us it is another day, another opportunity, another chance to truly live our best, or live our life our best. A great time to reflect and to check and see if we are not living our best life yet. If not, and if there is something is missing, then what we can ask ourselves, what do we need to do to get there? And truly leave it and not just wishing for it. So what do we need to change for ourselves? And also, how would you like to change? So these kind of reflections of the things that we've done, we've done so far at the, this point in our life, and are we really living in our full potential? You know, so those are good um exercises to reflect on if you are in the beach right now or planning on going in a beach or even in a in the ocean or I mean in a in a river or in a mountain whatever you are right now do those kind of reflections and do those kind of questions you know to your to yourself and that's a good um introduction or a good step for you to see evaluate where you are right now what is missing am i living in my in my in my own life and it's it's really giving me um, happiness to my life you know so those are the things that we can look at um, and you know if you are out in a norm in a busy schedule that you have and you are in a vacation and, and out of town anywhere you know you can really look into this and see where you at so the fifth one why a lot of people drawn in a beach is there are a lot of laid-back people and friendly vibe. So if you are here or any beach, um, you know, locations, uh, if you compare people who are living in a big city such as New York or Chicago and compare that to people who are living by the beach, you will notice a big difference. People in the living in a busy city are always busy, always running around and seems there's no break for them. And always in a hurry and trust me I know <laughs> I have believed that life and compare that to the people who live by the ocean they are more laid back and no rush you know no worries um, just taking the time everything will be all right why do you think they always play the songs of Barb Marley and everything's gonna be all right <laughs> and Margarita Bill by Jimmy Buffett. So those are the songs that's really popular every time you go either Caribbean and anywhere. As long as they are right by the beach, those are the popular songs that they always play, right? So the people are very friendly around here, no doubt. I have met so many people around here in just a short period of time while I'm here in Miami. Either locals, tourists, or also visiting like myself. And people are friendly and would like to show you around, which is great. And experience things that you might not have experienced before. And they will tell you where are great places to eat. And in fact, here in Miami, I spoke to many of them, um, both locals and the area. And even the people who are from out of town, but regularly visiting the city. 
when I ask where is the best places to eat and fun clubs and bars and they will give you the whole list of places to go <laughs> my problem is that I wish I had more time uh, to try them all so well I guess I just have to come back and try them so people here are great uh, very welcoming and for that I am very grateful for that experience so those are the five reasons why people love being at the beach so you probably add more into the list but this is what I observe right now uh, number one the stunning views oh my you cannot be the stunning views anywhere right number two being in the moment if you still living yesterday when you come here you might have to unpack those and unwanted baggage and leave it in your house otherwise you won't get experience the whole thing and what this trip is all about and being in the moment it is teaches you to live your best life today because today matters and yesterday ended last night so number three is water sports activities and beach parties that people drawn into the beach and what do you want to do you have a lot of choices that you can pick or you're probably just doing nothing which is perfectly fine too and as long as it's safe you can pick whatever you want activities that you wanted to do and number four is the calming effect there is something about the sounds of the waves the oceans the breeze and the sand felt in your feet that calm you down that calm, calm us down and relaxes you in some ways so this is kind of magical about it you know and the fifth one is laid back people and friendly vibe you are on vacation you know so be like one of the locals if you want to truly enjoy and and uh, experience things be one of the locals they will tell you where to go and what to experience with so you may add more into the list like i said earlier or the things of what you like to do most of on your favorite things that you would like to do being at the beach or any any parts of how you spend your vacation if you like to share them with me i would love to hear them and uh, feel free to share it in my email address at cheryl at cherylihart.com and i will be happy to hear it from you and perhaps i can learn from you as well you know how you you perceive this in the beach or in the mountains in the forest uh, in the lake out fishing what have you you know feel free to share it with me and i would love to hear them so I guess this is it. I have to sign off. Uh, I have to sign off now so I can get ready to catch my flight going back to Chicago. Um, as the saying goes, memories are made in flip-flops. So build memories, especially while in the beach. So with that, always remember that if you don't invest in your own personal growth, no one will. Take care and be well. <music>